Hi everyone, Alina from Xmate Mastery here, and today we're going to talk about the new X1 version of Xactimate. Um, Xactor had a conference at the beginning of February, and I think that's when they kind of released the X1 version. It wasn't beta testing, a bunch of people that I knew were testing it, but um, I think they released it somewhere around their conference time in uh, February. So we're going to take a look at the differences here between the desktop version of Xactimate 28 and the new X1 version. So um, there's also some design differences that they did intentionally in order to make X1 easier to use on a tablet style laptop um, too. So that'll be interesting to take a look at uh, the design elements that they've uh, changed as well. So let's take a look at the X1 version of Xactimate. So here I have on my screen, this is the control center dashboard of the new X1 desktop version. You can see it's drastically different, looks a lot more modern than the old one or the Xactimate 28 control center dashboard for the desktop version. This looks more like the tablet or the, um, I should say, iPad mobile version. This looks kind of similar to that and they're trying to move in that direction. So first of all, mentioning the tablet PC, Xactors had stated that one of the reasons they've created Xactimate to look like this and act the way that it does now is so that you can use it on a tablet computer, meaning the Microsoft Surface will work beautiful on. It doesn't use as much database power like it used to on those Surface tablets, so you'll run a lot more smoothly. Um, so not only is it aesthetically designed for the tablet computer, it also has a practical design as well so that it will run better and faster because I've taught some live classes where those people had sur surface tablets and they were one to two minutes behind on every exercise just because the the Surface couldn't handle it. So I'm really excited to see that they've gone in the direction of a more mobile version, um, not meaning that putting it on a mobile platform, but making it so that something light and easy to use like a, a tablet uh, or a Surface type computer, Microsoft Surface can be used out in the field. It's a lot easier to take all the information on site. So they actually stated that they did some ride-alongs with adjusters where the adjuster went on site with a notepad and paper, took all the information down, then went back to Xactimate on their uh, laptop computers because it was too clunky to bring it into the home and scope the loss and Xactware recognized that that was a bad way of doing things um, in this technological age. So, um, you know, some kudos to Xactware for seeing that and trying to make our scoping lives a lot easier as contractors and as adjusters. So that's the first thing that uh, really struck me was this control center dashboard design. Um, also, if you are going to upgrade or if you're going to load this desktop onto a new computer, it's a breeze to install compared to the old Xactimate 28 where you had to ins uh, do a Windows update sometimes. You had to update the SQL server um, in order to do that. Most people, you know, don't regularly update your SQL so uh, or SQL servers, however you'd like to say that. So this bypasses all of that by keeping the uh, big chunk of the database on the Xactware cloud. So that's the main difference here, guys. A lot of this uh, information, settings, projects, uh, database processes are all now residing on the Xactware cloud instead of on your local desktop or last laptop computer. So that's going to be another big difference you're going to see, a little bit smoother operation, definitely with the install and when you go to upgrade. So one of the pain points for all of us has been that initial install of Xactimate. So they have completely overhauled the install process. Super excited to hear that and super excited that the upgrade happened really quickly for me, even with all the backup and everything that happened to the cloud. So another thing that they've changed is you have your notifications here on our screen. My screen is a little bell. We're all used to seeing, you know, notifications as a bell. So when that lights up, you either have a new project in exact analysis, a new Geomni report has been delivered, that little bell will light up, or if there's a program uh, update or a patch to fi fix some glitch, you'll see this little bell light up. So before we didn't even know if they had issued any important updates or patches for things that were going wrong in Xactimate, it would sit in your exact analysis inbox, or actually if you never connect to exact analysis, you wouldn't even get it to your exact analysis inbox. So this bypasses all of that. It's a beautiful thing. 
you will see uh, notifications show up here in any of those three instances. So if there's an exact for project for you, if there's a Geomini report ready, or if you've got an update, there's probably other notifications that they didn't go over. So just keep your eye on that little bell there and you'll see important messages and other things come through right there. Now let's talk a little bit more about the Xactor Cloud. I think this is important because it is a totally different thought process with this version than the previous desktop version for Xactor 28. This is more like the online version in the way that everything's stored. Users' data is now backed up to the cloud, so no data is lost if the laptop goes dead or is damaged. So next time you drop your laptop and it goes to a million pieces, not a problem because it should be backing up Xactmate's projects, settings, user preferences, macros, notes, all of that stuff should be now backed up to the cloud, which is really exciting because um, I've had a computer die on me in the past and it was really hard to bring everything back. I, you know, I tried to data transfer back up as much as I could and onto a external hard drive and tried to keep that up and all of that's done and gone now with the new cloud backup that happens automatically in X1. So I'm, I'm actually pretty excited about that. So any changes that you make to the desktop version are um, now immediately synced with the cloud as long as you have Wi-Fi access while you're writing estimates or changing settings, saving new macros, anything like that. Be sure to be uh, connected to Wi-Fi or at least go and connect somewhere if you're making the changes on the fly out in the field. Go connect to Wi-Fi somewhere. Everything will be synced and it's a beautiful thing. The other thing about the connection to the cloud is you can log on to any X1 desktop version with your login credentials and have access to your project settings, macros, as long as there's an internet connection. So I could leave my laptop at home, go to my parents' house and uh, log on there if they had the desktop X1 version. My dad used to be an adjuster, so he has the... Uh, the uh, version there, go to go over to dad's computer and log on with my credentials on his desktop version of X1 and be able to access all of my stuff instead of his stuff. So it's more mobile of a portal. Of course, the desktop version would, of X1 still needs to be loaded to the device, um, the laptop or the desktop PC in order for you to be able to log in. So you still have to have X1 downloaded and installed on the computer, but as long as that resides there, you can use your login credentials to get into the cloud and get into Xactimate. So that was a kind of a revelation that you don't have to locally carry your laptop around. So those of you that have many copies of Xactimate loaded onto your computers and your restoration companies and have guys running jobs all day, now you don't have to assign a laptop to Tom. Tom, Dick, and Harry can all log into Tom's computer in Xactimate using their own credentials so they can see their own projects. It's really cool for larger companies. The cloud also syncs the online version settings, projects, everything, macros, all automatically with the X1 version. This was a little bit of a problem for me. I was upgrading from the version of Xactimate 28 to X1, and my macros and notes, I noticed when I started playing around with the... The, the new version here were completely different than what I had on my Xactimate 28 desktop version. And I believe that the reason for this, and I may get corrected, but we had an online version about six months ago that we shut down, went to desktop only. I think when I upgraded to X1, it pulled in all of my settings from the online version, which someone else was using that in our company. They had their own settings and macros and, and things, and it brought those into my X1 instead of bringing over everything from my desktop exact to me 28, if that makes sense. So it didn't bring over the settings and macros and notes from my 28. It seems like it synced with the online version, which we no longer pay for which was sitting in the cloud. So I'll have to do some more research on that, but I just wanted to let you guys know, I've, I did this last week, so I haven't really gotten to play around with it too much, but that was one major thing I noticed, is all my stuff that I use every day is gone. Um, a lot of my macros, a lot of notes didn't migrate. So what I recommend doing is backing up or data transferring out your macros, notes, any um, particular settings that you're going to need, write those down if you have certain preferences that you like in your current version. Before you upgrade, please, please, please back all that stuff up 
um, by exporting it or just simply writing down your preferences. There's not really a way you can export preferences, but um, just just know that things may change if you've had an online instance of ExactMate in the past. So I always just say it's good to back everything up before making a big move, and so that's what I did do, luckily. Um, and I will be able to import all of my macros and notes again. So that is a big lesson I learned when I did the upgrade. Let's take a look at Xactivate X1 and just see kind of where the differences are. You can already see it's a more modern feel and look, like I said. Here I'm on my local projects, okay? So everything that's locally residing on my computer, if I take this offline and go out to work in the field, it's checked out, quote unquote, from the cloud. So I can take this out, I can work on these projects, no problem, without Wi-Fi. If I wanna see everything that's in the cloud, that's been backed up. Here you can see all of my Wilson, Alina, and some other ones um, here in the cloud. So you can see here, checked out. That means it's locally on my desktop and I can unplug and have access to that out in the field. However, I won't have access to my cloud if I disconnect from Wi-Fi. So just remember that cloud, you gotta have your Wi-Fi going. Also, your preferences look quite different. So there, you can now draw your signature. This is pretty cool. I haven't messed around with this yet. But lots of differences in preferences, but they are mostly the same as before. They just move some things around. The sketch preferences look pretty similar. They move the disto in integration. So you're just gonna need to go through the preferences each sub-tab here and see where things are moved and reset your preferences if they didn't migrate over in the upgrade. It's also good just to review these just to see if there's any fun new things. So I haven't, again, I haven't taken the time to exactly get into every detail of this new control center. So I may do that in a further video down the road if I find something mind-blowing, but for now everything seems to look pretty much uh, the same. They have moved pricing down here as well, so we don't have a price list tab. So this will be interesting to see how this all shakes out. We've also got the tools section. This is where your data transfer has moved. So if you need to import your macros or note templates or any of those other exportable things from your old Xactimate 28, this is where you're gonna do it is under tools. So you don't have, if you notice, uh, a data transfer section like they used to, it is moved into this tools area. Um, also, there's a bunch of other template documents, all this. Again, I need to get further into here, but um, they have moved the priceless editor um, as well into this tools section. Help has been upgraded quite a bit. You can, it mirrors kind of what their e-service center website looked like. So you got your live help here, and I believe that will bring up the e-service center. Yes, it does, which is awesome. So you can see you can access the e-service center directly from Xactimate. It, it did that before, but it was hidden in a weird spot and wasn't very, didn't seem very available. So I like this that help seems more accessible and you can find some documentation and there's their contact number. It just seems a little bit easier to access this help area than before. So when you get into trouble, have some tech issues that you can't solve, you can get into your your tech support pretty quickly. So I do like that they've added the help pretty prominently here. All right, some other weird things that I noticed is that when you're in your projects list, you can't right click here to select all those options that used to be a drop down. You have to check the box and now you have to decipher or hover over these icons in order to get the different options. So I like to duplicate um, my estimates. Sometimes I do, you know, you can do a mitigation and a restoration. You're gonna do a duplication. Maybe you want to save an estimate as a template. You're gonna do some duplication. So it took me a while to figure out where they moved that. So when you check the box to um, highlight the estimate, these different options will become available. There's your request roof measurements, request property data. So that's gonna be Geomni and Eagle View stuff there that you can look at. Yeah, so just take a look and browse this, get used to this uh, checking off the estimate in order to get to these other properties and options that used to be available in a right-click drop-down menu. Let's go into the estimate. And you'll notice here, everything pretty much looks exactly the same. So not much upgrade or differences here. Um, I wish I had a tablet computer in order to do some sketching to see how that 
works on the tablet. Uh, I know you've got an external mouse, but the sketch used to be kind of glitchy on the tablet, so they didn't really go into that on the webcast that I watched, whether they fixed those issues. They did say the database issues were fixed, so maybe that freed up the graphics card talking to the database. I don't know. So I, I wish I had a tablet computer. Anybody out there that has a Microsoft Surface, if you would comment below, um, if you've upgraded to X1, let me know how this is going for you with the sketch, because that used to be super glitchy and did not work very well on those tablets. So I'd be excited to hear if that actually works better for you. But as you can see, not much has changed in the actual estimate itself. I still have my macros, my search. I've still got, you know, quick entry field. Everything is the same. My complete tab looks the same. Print, everything's rocking and rolling like it used to. So really no big upgrades in the actual estimating process or estimate itself. It's all out here in the control center dashboard where they've made these uh, changes. So just for those that are like dreading, you know, upgrading, it's not as bad as 25, version 25, upgrading to version 28 or version 21 upgrading to, you know, you know what I'm saying. So it's mostly just superficially out here in the control center dashboard, linking with the cloud. That's a huge new technology that they're really utilizing in the X1 is that cloud backup and the cloud versatility. So lucky to tell you, feel very lucky that inside the estimates themselves, not a big deal. You've got everything just as before in Xactimate 28. So I'm pretty excited to use this new version X1. Um, of course, I haven't, I've only had it for about a week. So I'll keep you guys posted if I find any glitches or again, if I find any really super cool preferences that I think you guys need to know about, I will definitely make a video about that in the future. So any of you who have upgraded to X1, feel free to comment below. I want to hear your experience because I'm a newbie at using it so far, this new shell of this controlled center dashboard. So love to hear your thoughts. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button. And of course, subscribe below to receive our updates. I try to release a video every week on an exciting Xactimate topic. So definitely subscribe for updates. For more information on Xactimate Mastery and what we do, we teach restoration contractors how to use Xactimate. Please visit my website at xm8mastery.com. Hope you guys have a really great week in your business and I'll see you next week.